Hello and welcome back to Transgroom TV. I'm so proud to have with us Kathleen Rosens and Dylan. Kathleen is the winner of the Crafts Dog Show, but Kathleen is much more than winning Crafts Dog Show. Kathleen, welcome to the Transgroom TV studio. Hello Kitty, how are you? I'm very good and I'm so happy you're here. I feel very proud to be able to make an interview with you. I'm just very happy. And Dylan looks beautiful, relaxed. We are very happy to be here. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs> it's with great pleasure. <laughs> we would like to know everything about you, <laughs> everything what you do with the papillons, how it all started. But, you know, let's start with the first question. Mm -hmm. When did the papillon passion start with you? So I was six years old when... Uh... I was doing my, my first communion and three months in advance, my father and mother asked me what I wanted as a present. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I said a brother, a sister or a dog. Oh. With only three months, <laughs> baking a little child in their oven wasn't possible. So they bought me uh, my first papillon. His name was Luske. 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 Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, the papillon turned out to be a phalane because he had dropped ears, but that was the start of it all. Oh so, my. many moons ago, we had our first papillon. But you, the dog shows were out of the question when you had Luska, you just had yeah. a pet dog. Yeah, just our pets. And like in many families, uh, oh, poor Luska, he's all alone, let's buy a second one, let's buy a, a little friend for Luska. We got our second one, Ondin. And then, like probably many families, an accident happened, they had puppies, uh, and, and, and that's how we got involved in going to a dog show. <laughs> yeah, that's how it all started. Oh my! So, how, how did you suddenly, did, did, you, did you have contact with somebody doing dog shows, or how did it happen? Yes. Actually, the breeder of uh, our first papillon uh, just saw how, how in love we were with the breed and he said, oh, you should come to Brussels Dog Show and, and I'll bring your dog. Uh, and I think it, it starts Yeah, that's bit. how it starts. You go, you make friends, you enjoy your day, you go again. You buy a, a third dog with the idea of starting to show, to, to have something of quality and before you know it, you're addicted. How's life uh, to have uh, dog shows? Is there something special you need to do? First of all, I think you need to be a little bit crazy. Um, but that's probably for every hobby. Uh, we put a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of money in our hobby. Um, first of all, all our dogs are our pets. They are members of our family. Uh, they don't live in crates. They have a huge garden. They get dirty, they play. Uh, but in the weekend, we travel to shows in Belgium and all over the world. Uh, we like to meet up with friends and, and be active with our dogs. And, and uh, I'm a Belgian breeder of a Belgian breed, because Papillons is, is a Belgian breed of origin. So it's, it's a passion and, and we want to not only maintain the breed, but also work towards uh, getting as close as possible to our breed standards. You want to That's improve the it. Yeah, yeah, want to yeah, improve so. it, but, but always with health and, and respect towards uh, pedigree dogs in mind. Okay, so when you are looking to have a new, like a new bloodline, mm -hmm. you, you, you investigate the pedigrees of the dog and the bloodline and you look, uh, this one has longer ears or yeah. shorter ears or, or better angulation. Yes. Let's uh, find this uh, boy to put on that girl and you know and so exactly on, so on. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. years of planning ahead uh, out of a combination we keep a puppy sometimes that puppy isn't perfection but it has certain qualities uh, which my other dogs perhaps lack and it's it's long planning ahead pedigree wise health wise testing wise uh, to try to get the next nice dog perfect perfect and it's, it takes you also all over the world doesn't it yes that's a nice yeah. side effect um i come to places that perhaps i would never have visited if it weren't for the dog shows i think of iceland i i went to iceland we went to russia to moscow we would never book perhaps a, a trip to moscow but then yeah. i'm glad to visit these places and yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you go to Moscow for a dog show or did you go to Moscow to have a meeting done with one of your dogs? We went to Moscow in 2016 for the World Dog Show, wow. to compete at the World Dog Show. Wow. Kathleen, I remember a very long time ago, I still see you as a very young, young, young girl. Was Were you doing junior handling? Did you... Yes, yes, that's how. So my father and I started going to shows and then the next logical step as a child is to compete in junior handling. So I wonderful. I did that between the age of 12 and 18 years old. I, I think I showed every breed possible. I went to every show. My father had to drive me two days every weekend to the show. Um, and I stayed in the dog show. Oh, world. your father is so proud. I still see him. Like in, it was in, uh, but when was it? 1995 or something? Yes. Was it earlier? Yes, I think we started a little bit earlier, but around that yeah, time, yeah, the World yeah, Dog Show yeah, in Brussels, yeah, yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah. yeah, And every single show, he came by by the Transgroom yeah. booth, and he told how you were doing, and it, you know, it's it's a very it's a beautiful story. He's so proud of you, and it's so nice that you are doing the same thing now and you can still go and show together. But there's also competition, isn't there? Uh, we have a friendly competition between each other that uh, my father moved to France. I still live in Belgium. Uh, we don't often go to the same show together, but sometimes I'm in one location, he's in another country. And then he phones me to say he won new champion or the breed. And then I say, yeah, I won the group. And, and <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Or he, he goes third best in show junior and he claims that it's more hard than my best in show and <laughs> it's a small competition. Yeah. So I can imagine the moment when you won Crufts and you phoned your father to tell him. Yeah. I, I, I can imagine that was, you know, that was the most fantastic um, thing in your life, you know. Yes, oh yes. my gosh. Yeah. He won the toy group at Crufts in 2009, so yeah. 10 years before Dylan and I took the spots and after winning the toy group I thought yes I reached the same level as my father uh, he wasn't there he was been there all day he saw me win best of breed with Dylan but he had his flight scheduled uh, to Brussels so he was actually miles high when I when, when Dylan and I won the toy group and oh my gosh, I won my best in show. <laughs> and when I won best in show I thought now I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it feel that moment? It must have been, you know, heart beating. Uh, yeah, yeah. I must confess that I, I, when you win it, it doesn't settle in. I yeah. was l unlucky or perhaps lucky that uh, toy breeds that year were judged on Sunday. So it was a very long day. I, I, I went in for the breed this took from 8 o'clock in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. You win the breed, you have to rush over to the arena for the group judging. Uh, before you know it, you win the toy group and, and then it goes so fast. Uh, an hour later I was in best in show judging. It happens but I didn't have time to process it in process, my head yeah, or, or yeah, yeah, understand yeah, yeah. what had just happened. That yeah. took me some days. Yeah, 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 probably. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, I can only say, you know, uh, Congratulations for all you've done, all the work and all the hours and all the time you were spending training and washing and mm -hmm. maintaining and searching for to improve the bloodline, you know, blood, your bloodline. Uh, I can only say, you know, a big congratulations. It's Thank a, you. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Let's keep okay. continuing like this for the next yeah. 30 years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what tips can you give for people at home who want to start dog mm -hmm. shows or... I think the, the, the first important thing, beside of course we need a lot of passion, but is knowledge of your breeds, knowing your dogs, knowing the qualities, but also knowing uh, the flaws of your dogs. Uh, it's only when you, you're not kennel blind that you can keep growing. Uh, to obtain nice results, it's, it's not only the day of the show. Uh, it's like you say, it, it's working all year. Uh, for preparation, for training, for training your dog, for training your own skills. It's just not just the day of the show. Yeah. Um, make sure you prepare well and then you have more 
uh, chances to success. That's actually the key to success is, is preparation and hard work. Yeah. How did you prepare Dylan the day from Croft? We got up very, very early. We had to leave the hotel at six o'clock, so I think my alarm was set at three o'clock uh, to, to take him out for a walk, to wash him, to groom him, to pack the car and to head direction uh, National Exhibition Center. Uh, there's always many papillons entered at Crafts. I think always numbers of 300, 350 oh dogs. Gosh. So they start early. They have one judge and they start judging at 8.30. Oh um, although I know where our ring is, although I know we're only judged at noon, I'm one of those crazies who wants to be there at 7 when the doors open and I, I want to have my spot and I want time to drink a coffee. I want... Even after all these years of showing, I want to go in the empty ring before the judging starts to feel the ring, to feel Explore. the energy, yeah, to relax and to uh, let the dogs uh, get used to the environment. So we got up very early to wash and, and finish uh, Dylan for the show. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, nice. He wasn't feeling very well that morning. I think the little villain in the hotel room went under the bed and find something he shouldn't have been eating. <laughs> he was actually in the morning very feeling sick. He oh vomited gosh. in the car on the way to the show. I kept him like this on my lap oh. so he wouldn't get dirty again. <gasps> uh, and, and for a brief moment I thought, oh no, months of preparation, months of counting down for Crafts, my favorite show. I might not be able to show him today. Oh my! But he, I he survived. He was out of his system and he was okay. I remember at Craft you coming to pick up a few Fraser products. Yes, yes. And I took a picture of you in, at the Transgroom booth yes. at Craft, and it was a coincidence because it was one of the only pictures I was able to take because it was very busy. It was yes. extremely yes, busy at that Craft yes. show. And we didn't yeah. know yet what was about yeah, to come. Yeah, we had yeah, no idea. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's nothing special. You didn't make Dylan go to sleep uh, before the show or you didn't go running outside with him to excite him. No, there's nothing special. Dylan only has two rules. The yeah. first rule is he sleeps in the bed, yeah. like every day. Yeah. And the he second, in your bed? he always sleeps with me in the bed. <laughs> always. He has his, his little pillow next to me. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't like to get up too early in the morning. He, <laughs> like this morning, he was up too soon and yeah, that shows. Uh, the second rule, when he wins, he wants chicken. So it's, it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but we don't do anything besides the, the lap of preparation, the lap of, yeah. of practicing before yeah. judging. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't yeah. do that much yeah. on the show. There are children, aren't they? Yes. There are just... Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That's, there that's, are babies. Uh, there are babies, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. About the products, can you tell me a bit more about which products you use at the dog shows mm -hmm. and why? Yes. So it's, it's very important... Uh, to find the right product for your dogs and, and something that satisf satisfies you and, and what makes your dogs look at their best. And some years ago, I, I got to know Michelle Fraser, who is, is the, the person from Australia who, who created Fraser Essentials. And she gave me a little tip to, to try her shampoo which I did, and I, I really saw the improvement in the coat of my dogs. Uh, I saw the growth uh, after I was using it for six months. Wow. Uh, and step by step, I started using more of her products. Um, when I have a, a, a certain need, I, I, I ask her, what should I do if I want this effect or if I want uh, the coat wider? And she always gives great tips and, and she helped me have Dylan look so pretty. Wonderful. So, if you want more volume or the, the hair f more falling down, mm -hmm. more shiny. Yes, yeah, yes yeah, exactly. Yeah, wonderful. There's something yeah, for, for every dog, for every coat, yeah. uh, for everything you want them to be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If I would want more volume, uh, there's a product. If, if 
I want to coat to drop down. There is yeah. a more heavy conditioner, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what yeah. I like. Uh, the products are very natural, so they're very good for for the coat, and and that's something I need on long term. Yeah, yeah. I don't just mm -hmm. want a product that makes him white the next day or or makes his his coat look pretty if it doesn't have on long term uh, yeah. good effect. Can you tell us the difference between? shows mm -hmm. and preparing for the dog show in your products mm -hmm. you use? I think in the end it's all connected to each other. You cannot go to a show without the preparation all the weeks and months before. Um, for Dylan and, and Papians in his specific case I like to use um, a heavier condition in between for maintenance uh, for maintenance for yeah. to make sure that that nutrition. his coat has the nutrition on one side and that he can play and he can go outside in the garden without me having to fear that that it will destroy his coat yeah. uh, so i do like the intensive care conditioner um just to protect the hair so it doesn't dry out exactly yeah. exactly yeah. and that yeah. he can have a normal yeah. pet life yeah that he can be free and do what he likes but that i feel confident that uh, when I go to shows that he will be yeah. in full and pretty condition. Yeah. Uh, the evening before the show or the morning of the show, uh, I might use some other products uh, who help his look be so complete. Like the big volumizing shampoo, volumizing. like the classic white shampoo, yeah. uh, little things like that to make some qualities pop out uh, in the ring. Yeah. I would really like to speak about frequently for us is weekly, mm -hmm. uh, even sometimes if it's necessary or cold or yep. damp outside or two times a week is possible, but don't wait a month or no. 14 days. No. If you want to have a good coat, yep. you need to wash every week yep. at least. Yep. 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 Dylan has yep. a bath yep. every yep. week yep. 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 and the full treatment, the, the shampoos that I like and the conditioner. Um, after his bath, that I, I before I brush, I use a brushing spray or the cold stimulant spray uh, to make sure every hair is protected and is boosted with the right uh, ingredients. Wow! Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very nice. Kathleen, for the people at home, uh, we know it. We've been doing dog shows a very, very, very long time. Me also, since a child. But how do you start? Can you tell the people how 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 do you get into dog shows? Yeah. I think it's a, it's a nice thing to do when you have a good bond with your dog. You want an activity with your dog in the weekends. I would just suggest you look for a dog show in your area. Go visit. Uh, try to speak to some people on the show. Uh, have a look at what they are doing, and just enter your dog. Try it and and see if you find the fun in it. Um, the next step would be to, to train yourself, to educate yourself. Like any sport, it, it requires some skills. Uh, but these things you can learn by doing. Uh, you can go to a show training. You can practice at home. Yeah. Uh, I've went to the show, dog show training with Emma, my mm -hmm. daughter, because yes. I didn't want to teach her myself I wanted to give her the experience and she had a fantastic time she has a very good bond now with the dog and yeah. it's just um, the dog likes it uh, you are there you are giving attention you are learning the dogs to stand it's waggling its tail yeah. uh, up and down and try and learning you know if you if you're if you love dogs and you want to do something it's a, it's a fantastic hobby yeah. to do it's it's wonderful yeah and it should be a work in progress uh, thing to to learn how to do it to know you must learn what to do in the ring, when to do it. You must yeah. learn about timing, you must learn about your breeds. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's good for young people to have this hobby yeah. and to have a goal yeah. and, and to work long term yeah. uh, on these nice relationships between our, our dogs, our pets. It's the most and important. And to do more with it. Yeah. I, I think the most important thing is that it should be fun for mm -hmm. the dog and for you. And you should also always remember everyone on the dog show is saying my dog is the most pretty and, it is. and none of them is wrong yeah we right. all have the most pretty dog yeah. and we all take the best dog home yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it should be about 
people with the same passion, the same love for dog, yeah. being together, take a, bake a cake, take the cake, yeah. take a nice bottle of, of wine. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice moment to sit together and, and speak about dogs and, and our, our speak to passion. people likewise. Yes. Speak to other people who mm -hmm. are passionate about yes. dogs, about dog grooming. Yes. And sometimes you win <laughs> on the dog show, sometimes yeah. you lose on the dog show. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. You had a fun yeah. day out with your dog and, and with friends and yeah. that's what's more important. Yeah. Kathleen, thank you for coming today. It's been a big honor to have you. Thank you. I was happy to be here and I hope I inspired some of our viewers. Uh, and they must keep in mind, if I could win this, so can they. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for watching. This was Kitty and Kathleen for Transgroom TV. We've been here today with passion and we will see you next time. <laughs>